Hot chocolate to go with those donuts tomorrow. I mean, it's going to be chilly out Perfect there, time, yeah. you know, right? It doesn't sound really good, making me hungry. <laughs> we, we were talking about those wind gusts too, bringing in some cool air for us. And temperatures tomorrow morning are going to be down in the low 50s. So we just don't have a chance to really warm up much. We are seeing those gusts out along the coast continuing to fill in from the beaches. And that area of low pressure is going to scoot inland and north as we go through the day tomorrow. So this is going to bring us some heavy downpours at times and expecting some three to four inches along the coast from one to three inches inland and even higher totals in a few spots possible when we get some thunderstorms as we get going late Sunday and then again on Monday. So thicker cloud cover for us tonight and into early Saturday morning. We've got cool winds. You've probably experienced them this evening too. gusts anywhere from 25 to 30 miles an hour and chilly 50s out there along with the flash flooding risk that develops late afternoon into the evening hour. So right now your surface gust speeds anywhere from 26 to 31 miles an hour now in Wilmington, 35 miles an hour in Myrtle Beach and those winds are going to continue to kick in throughout the day tomorrow and then they push in our way. So by tomorrow evening, I expect to see some of our strongest wind gusts that we'll see 59 degrees right now. That's cool in the tri 61 in Raleigh, 51 in Galax temperatures this time of the year. We only warm to near 70 today, about 10 degrees cooler than normal. Tomorrow we might set some records for the coolest high temperatures we've seen if we stay in those upper 50s. Now the gusts out there currently, as we talked about, are strong along the coast. Eventually we'll see some 30 mile an hour gusts likely at least in the eastern triad and heading into the mountains and foothills too as those elevation changes and those waves of rain move in we could get some gusts going this is what we're looking for around two three o'clock we'll see the winds start to pump up we also have some waves of rain that become steadier and heavier those gusts could be as high as 30 miles an hour you see through winston salem through late evening saturday and then up into the mountains in a zone here through mount airy where you could even get some 30 35 mile an hour winds going potentially and of course the mountain ridge have the better chance of seeing some strong gusts too. And that is as that low moves off to the north late Sunday, we finally start to see maybe some weakening in that cloud cover and hopefully some sunshine by Monday but still some thunderstorms will be left over. So excessive rainfall, that's a big concern for us. Moderate risks along the coast. We could see that one and a half to three inches of rainfall total up as we go through late Saturday. Waves of rain are coming and you can see this trending throughout the evening hours. One batch here, you get done with one, you've got more light rain than heavy pockets from time to time. And that's a concern as we lift this up over the mountains, that could also intensify the amount of rainfall that they're gonna get on the ground. And depending on what we see with thunderstorms again, late Sunday, we're gonna add to those rainfall totals. So this is a flash flooding risk. Things are developing at night where you can't see where all that rain may be falling and washing out roads. So we really want folks to be cautious in the mountains and foothills tomorrow night. No watches or advisories issued yet, but we'll keep you posted on it. High water on the roads and some swift water from that flooding as the streams and creeks rise above their banks that could wash out the roads. 46 tomorrow morning in the mountains, 54 for highs. And notice our highs may happen a little earlier in the day. Rain starts to fill in and gust to 30 miles an hour hour through the afternoon in the foothills from 52 to only near 60, but you could be just a touch warmer than folks in the triad as rain is delayed just a touch longer. So after about one o'clock in the mountains for rain chances that start to become steady in the foothills, you have rain chances that'll pick up as we get through lunch and in the Piedmont tried a little earlier by about 10 11 AM. You've got good rain chances and it becomes steadier and heavier late in the day with gusts anywhere from 20 to 30 miles an hour. You've got those shower chances as we mentioned that'll stay with us straight through Monday. You're your Memorial Day on Monday and your 70 and then 80 degrees sounds a lot better on Thursday along with some of that sunshine for Friday. Much of the week rain chances. We'll be back with more after this.